Thanks for stopping by. Welcome to Four Acres. It is absolutely beautiful this morning. Look at this sun. That is incredible. Um, it's also incredibly cold. I know, hard to see the thermometer. The thermometer looks like that because on Thursday it was 40 degrees and pouring rain. And then Thursday night it iced and it iced into Friday morning and then it continued to ice and then it stopped and then it switched to snow. The weather had been so bad, all the schools closed Thursday night for Friday, knowing that it wouldn't be good. So you'll see all the trees, like look at that apple tree behind me and the bird feeder. We don't actually use the bird feeder. We just think it's cool looking. Everything's encased in ice. Thankfully, we didn't lose power. Well, we lost power briefly, but otherwise it's been fine, which has been surprising. What's the plan today? What are we doing on four acres? I don't actually know yet. It's about 7.45 in the morning and I have to do work work, <laughs> which I really don't want to do. I really don't want to do work work. I just want to like be here at the house and do house things. So I'm not actually sure what's going to happen. I, I, one of the things I need to do is cut down more trees for firewood. You can see there's a bent over birch tree there and there's another bent over one there that's kind of small and there's that big willow tree that's sticking out to the side. While the pond is still frozen over, you hear that crack? That's things shifting because it's so cold. While the pond's still frozen over, I want to cut those down and turn them into firewood and get all the firewood off the pond. Otherwise, if I cut them down, they'll just fall into the water. And there's still a fair amount of ice on the pond, so today seems sort of like the last day to do it. I think we're going to start to see temperatures maybe increase. So am I going to be doing firewood? Heather's already at work. She says that the mail isn't too bad. Maybe we'll get Heather to join us. I really don't know. What I do know is I'm going to go inside and start a fire, drink a cup of coffee, get my work work done which I really don't want to do. Did I mention I really don't want to do my work work? I'll see you a little later. That sun's going to be a lot higher up on the horizon, but rest assured, I'll be back real soon. For me, it'll be a few hours. For you, it'll be just a second. <laughs> End of the day. Wasn't that time lapse beautiful? Wait, wait, wait. It's not the end of the day. We got Heather! Hi! We're going on a date. Date night. Where are we going? I think we should just... I think we should surprise. <laughs> it's been a while since I've done this. Yeah, it's all right. Keep going. Surprise. I think we should... <laughs> I think it's... <laughs> can't script this kind of stuff folks that's why vlogs are so much fun i think we should surprise them okay let's surprise them ready i don't know let's go so that's mount monadnock which is in New Hampshire, <laughs> over the river and through the woods, <laughs> on the way to Keene. I'm a swear. I don't know. <laughs> you want to tell them or not yet? Not yet. Okay, you'll see soon. <laughs> We're at the Keene Axe House. You should definitely check it out. up at Keen Axe House. Keen Axe, the Keen Axe House. It is so much fun. If you're in so Keene, New Hampshire, fun. you should totally stop by. We had a blast. And now it's time for dinner. Now it's time for dinner. Let's go get some food. We're at Margarita's now. 
Time to play some pool while we wait for a table. <laughs> It's the next day. Decided that I was gonna keep vlogging at least through the end of the day. It is beautiful. I don't know if you can see. Dogs and I are on the frozen pond. It was well below zero this morning. So again, I think the pond is safe enough for me to do some tree cutting, which is what I'm planning on doing. I'm gonna cut down. There's a little birch back there. I think I'm gonna try to cut that big bendy one. And then this thing here, it's a willow tree. Sort of goes way out over the pond. This will be some nice firewood too. I'm hoping that if I drop this thing, it won't crash through the ice. That's my real worry on this particular tree. So I'm gonna do that one last. Where did Bunker go? Hey, he's way over there. We had a red fox run through the yard this morning, so I'm sure the dogs are figuring that out. Boy, to be a dog. What a happy pup. Okay, let's get some chainsaw. One of the things about working at home is that you gotta stop and take care of animals and take care of children. There's no children at the house right now. But there are dogs and they're standing on the deck looking cold because they're not moving around. I'm gonna run inside, let them in. I'm gonna grab a sled to move firewood around. Woohoo! Oh boy. Hey, you like my new hat? Courtesy of my buddy Kurt. Thanks, bud. I appreciate it. All right, got this sled. Let's move this firewood. Keep cutting. Well, got that first part done. Randy the cat is over there somewhere hanging out with me. This birch is next on my list. That's the last one. That's gonna be a bit more of a project, I think. I'm gonna cut this guy first and we'll see where we end up. Here's the deal. I really do wanna cut that thing down, but I have two problems. Number one, if I drop it onto the ice here, it's pretty big and I'm afraid it's going to break through the ice or weaken the ice enough where that when I start to work on it to cut it up into pieces, I fall through because it's actually where I'm standing is easily six feet deep and I'm home alone. So I don't know. That doesn't seem like the wisest option. If I drop it sort of straight down, this giant thing here is all multi-floral rows and working in there would be terrible. So I think I'm not gonna drop it right now. I suppose like one thing I could do when the snow melts and the ground is dry is I could probably drive my truck down this little access road, drop the tree, and if it falls in the water, just drag it out with the truck and then cut it into pieces. But I don't think dropping it on the ice is wise and I don't really wanna drop it on the multi-floor rows cause that would just suck. So what I'm gonna do is just grab the chainsaw, see if I can't get to the back end of this multi-floral rose and just chop it off at the root with the chainsaw. So it at least is dead. Um, there's so much of this stuff everywhere, but the more I can cut, the better. Oh, 
path is clear enough to get the truck down it now. So I'd call that a success. Check it out too. Deer tracks and cat too. My cat, bunny rabbit over there. Yeah, there's a couple deer actually. And some bunnies and somebody that came to a skidding stop. A lot of cats maybe. Well, oh, I need some water. I think I swallowed bark. And another vlog is in the books. Had a wonderful weekend, got to throw axes with Heather, got to cut down a bunch of trees, make a little bit of firewood, open up our driveway here, sort of our back road area, cut down a bunch of multi-floral rows. Now it's time to get into something else. I want to thank you for hanging out with us here at Four Acres, our homestead in Southern Vermont. If you made it this far and you liked what you saw, hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos for Four Acres, hit that subscribe button. If you want to be kept up to date when we release a new video, hit that bell icon. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Always do the best you can with what you got. And we'll see you around. Take care. Don't eat the spray foam. Don't eat the spray foam. Psh, psh, psh. Hey, hey. It's not a worm. The R value of my chickens is amazing. Just like Les Stroud and Survivor Man. Let's do it. Okay. Go get a drink. <laughs>